Matthew Perry. Joining us this morning to share more about the life and legacy of Matthew Perry is our pop culture insider, Josh McBride. So, Josh, good to see you this morning. So now we're talking about this, yeah. which was kind of really alarming to Tony Hill this weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the medical examiner, let's start there, right, says that more tests need to be done to determine yeah. the cause of death because a lot of people were speculating about a lot of things because he had some struggles in the past. Important to note that they have to determine the cause of death first. What do we know so far? Yeah, we do know. Uh, I, I love what you just said. Uh, so many people are speculating. He yeah. did, we know, and has been very open about having uh, a drug issue, a abuse issue. Uh, but we're not sure. And I think it's really important to know not to speculate at yeah. this point. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, th there was uh, prescriptions found in the house. But there's prescriptions found in my house, my mom's house, my friend's house. I mean, you know, when you're sick, he, we know that he suffered with COPD. So there was yeah. prescriptions that help you, of course, uh, open up your lungs and things like that. So nothing that was a red flag specifically. Dan, we also know that um, toxicology mm -hmm. takes several weeks right. yeah. uh, to get done so this uh, we might not have a full answer uh, for for maybe a month or two yeah I mean so many people that worked and loved him so much are coming out and talking about their relationships with them like Frank Azaria yeah who was one of his dearest friends can you talk about what their relationship was like because he was even talking about how painful it was reading his autobiography yeah, yeah did you just, yeah this was this was a beautiful tribute that he did on his Instagram today uh, if you remember he actually uh, Hank of course the Simpsons actor was uh, they were very close friends at a young age so he was 21 uh, I was gonna say Chandler Matthew Perry was 16 they did a pilot together Together. Never saw the light of day, he mentions, mm, yeah. but he, he talks about uh, how how Perry was the funniest man he knew. <laughs> and then also, I love this part about it, that he actually had walked him into AA. Uh, mm. Perry had oh, walked wow. uh, Azaria into AA and, uh, and and stayed with him, going to meetings for uh, about a year together. So it, it, if you watch this video, it's a really beautiful tribute. It was about a two-minute tribute. Uh, we haven't heard, and, and as a side note, he actually played David, if you are a Friends fan. He mm -hmm. dated Phoebe on yes. Friends for yeah, a couple yeah, yeah. episodes. Um, uh, this was one of the most beautiful tributes I've seen. We haven't heard much uh, from the actual Friends yes. cast. Now, what I will say is a source did tell me that they are putting together a joint statement that I think should be released today. Okay. But, you know, not, not for nothing, but like, this should have been, this should have happened yesterday yeah. from them. You know, yeah. we've heard from Maggie Wheeler, who of course played Janice on Friends. Right. We've heard from uh, Kathleen Turner, who of course played Chandler's dad. And then of course the number of other actors. And the creator talent. of Friends came out with something of as Of course, well. and NBC themselves. Right, NBC. So it was, it, yeah, I wasn't sure whether they were going to come out individually or I guess they're doing it as a group. Um, but let's talk about the, 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 the last photo that he posted on Instagram was him in a hot tub, yeah. which is what is being rumored that he, he drowned. Mm. Yeah. Uh, accidental drowning is what is being reported right now. So it's just an eerie connection to that post from a week ago. Isn't that crazy? He had come home from a pickleball uh, match game, and, and it was a two-hour uh, time that he, he was playing there. We found out also in a recent interview, I believe, that just came out this morning with People Magazine, that he actually had a pickleball coach. Mm. And the pickleball oh, wow. coach said um, at this country club that... Uh, Perry uh, attended pretty often that the pickleball coach said this kept him on the straight and narrow yeah. so him being so obsessed with pickleball which so many people are saying really kept him uh, clean yeah. yeah something I also thought that was very poignant about him was that he wanted to be remembered for more than just being on Friends and yeah. for what he did to help others. Yeah, yeah, right? I love that he said this. He actually said this in an interview, and he said, you know, before you remember Friends, remember me for the person um, that uh, creates hope and empowerment. And, mm. and I love that because he wrote this great book where he starts on the first page, and I, I want to get the quote right, where he says, hi, my name is Maddie, and I should be dead. Mm. Right, oh, empowering those. Uh, yeah. He also has helped a number of strangers, he talks about, where they've come up to him and say, how how can how can you help me right like he needed uh, although he was struggling himself and had struggled for many years uh, he talks about how how many strangers have felt comfortable enough to come to him to ask for help so when I was talking about this and I've been talking about it all weekend yeah. I think that he should be remembered uh, for two things I think the first one of course being humor you know he would maybe <laughs> say something else um, uh, you know, enlightening those, uh, you know, other people to to laugh and, and yeah. on a sad day. Yeah. Uh, but then then a big important one is hope. Mm -hmm. And I think that he gave uh, a lot of people that, especially those with addiction problems. Well, yeah. that's all part of the legacy, right? That goes down as the legacy here. And, and, and speaking of the book, it's a top 10 uh, bestseller right now on Amazon, not only because of his passing, but because it only came out a year ago. Right. Mm -hmm. And that book was super real, raw, painful. Hank Azario said it was actually a real difficult read for him, too. Yeah. But he talks about not only a few dozen times in, in getting treatment, but over 40 times. Yeah, I believe, just to, just to clarify some numbers here, 15 times in rehab, wow. 65 
five times in detox. detox he also yeah. talks about how he would go on Sundays to open houses, uh, and, and this is crazy, I, this hasn't been covered too much, where he said this in an interview where he went to open houses on Sundays and would go to the bathroom in the medicine cabinet and take the people's prescription drugs yeah. and then leave, and then no one would, and he, he said, you know, no one, no one would think it was Chandler doing this, uh, mm. but he was at that point of addiction. Also, he, he talks about forgetting not remembering at all three seasons wow. of filming Friends. And then the season that he remembers the most, he actually won the Emmy for. Wow. Oh, well, that's wonderful. You know, we had an interview on one of the pieces that, we, that uh, our McGee Hickey did, talking to fans of his. Yeah. And one of them actually said that she read his autobiography yeah. and talked about how he did bring hope. Mm -hmm. And so he really did make the impact that I think he really wanted so desperately to have. Yeah, that hope that, that, mm. that he wanted to empower among so many other people I think is really important is yeah. the takeaway. Before we start speculating and things like yeah. that, exactly. let's, let's leave it with humor and hope. Yeah. yeah. All right, Josh. Josh McBride, good to have you here to talk about yeah. this and, and kind of lay it all out. Keep us posted on what you know from sure. your inside scoop, all right? 940. We'll be right back.